Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Hello everyone and welcome to TFA Analysis. I am here today to talk about what is happening in our schools, especially in Cameroon. Yesterday we heard what happened in Government High School in Apua in Douala and what happened today in Government Balama High School in uh, Daido, still in Douala. Yesterday, three students got a, 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 a bike rider, a Benskinen, well beaten and uh, wounded him seriously because he was pleading and talking to them to be polite with the discipline master because they were late and were stopped out of the gates. And they become angry and dealt with this person seriously and were about to kill him because they used pencils to pierce his face and all the body. And then today we heard about what a student, a student in a government Balongwa High School, that do killed another student with a knife. And this is repeating in that particular school because in 2019 these things happened there. And this that is why I'm coming up to present to you this. It's called Educational Triangle. Educational Triangle, eh, the failure of the Educational Triangle is fully responsible for all the terrible things that are happening in our school today. The smoking of eh, 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 drugs, taking drugs and smoking of manga, cocaine and all terrible things by students beating teachers and fighting in school, killing and terrible things happening in our school today is because of the failure of the educational triangle. And here to talk about the educational triangle, look at the top, you have the students. The students are at the top, the students through pupils are at the top of the educational triangle. The body of the triangle is, is those who make up the body of the triangle, the government, the school, and the society. The society here includes every organization, church, and religious body, uh, the form of the society. And at the bottom of the triangle, we have the teachers and the parents. The teachers and the parents. They are the main pillar of the triangle. The main people pushing the triangle up. And as they push up the triangle, they are pushing up the triangle. They are pushing the student to their careers. They are pushing the student to a good moral standard. They are pushing the student to what sort of they wish in life to become good citizen in life. But what is happening is that all these people here that have to push this student up, they have failed in their responsibility. I'm, I'm going to explain. I'm starting with the teachers. I'm starting with the teachers. That I want, first of all, let me demonstrate. If the teachers, for example, if the teacher is the one pushing the triangle up, doing his work perfectly or her work perfectly, if the triangle will be going up, will be a silent. Because the parents and the parents, maybe they are doing nothing. That, that is how the triangle will be going. Then the student will not be rising. The student will be tilted toward one side. And then that is the one failure. And then if the parents are the one doing their responsibility, they are doing everything to bring this child to moral standard. And then they are pushing and the teacher is lazy or they are not doing their work. That is how the triangle will be going one side. So all of them have to be working hands in hand simultaneously. Meaning, no, somebody should not be sitting and say it's not my turn. All of them have to be working simultaneously. And that is, if the teachers here, the teachers and the parents, they are the failure of what is happening in our school, the government, the school and the society. They are the one causing all this trouble. Children are not born stubborn. That we have to remove it. They develop stubbornness. Children are not born wicked. No, those evil things they are doing, they, they inculcate it, they learn it through a process. Because of the failures of the teachers, the parents, the society, and the government, and the school, the school where they are. And this is what is happening. Majority of schools in Cameroon, the teachers in school, majority of teachers in schools in Cameroon, they are untrained teachers. The government of Cameroon have abandoned education in the hands of businessmen. And these business people are looking for those who can go in for any amount to teach, whether they are educated or not. They don't care. 
whether they are educated or whether they are they have good moral standard they don't care teachers are smoking in school teachers are using students sending children to go buy them cigarettes all those things are the one responsible for all these things happening in our school and the true students are learning because students in life children in life always look up to their teachers they look up to their parents. They look up to the government. They look up to the pastor. They look up to. They always say, my teacher say, my parents say, my pastor say. And when they are seeing these people doing terrible things, they believe that those terrible things are good things. And then they will go into it without being able to control themselves. They will take it more as expected. And that is what is causing all the madness, all the terrible things in. So the teachers... If you know you are teaching, because the Bible says it in the book of James, that if we teachers will be judged strictly, because we are the one inculcating teaching and training children. So if you are there and you are misbehaving, leading, misleading students, children, then you will be held responsible. So teachers should adjust themselves. So I'm on the part of the parents. Many parents have abandoned their responsibility. They believe that all they have to do is to pay school fees. And after paying school fees, they abandon the student. They abandon their children. Children are well or children, they don't care. Parents in Cameroon, they, all they have is paying school fees. Putting to birth and paying school fees. They don't know that they have high responsibility. Many of these children are copying violence from their parents. Fighting every day, quarreling every day. In the house, these children are learning. That is what is the core in education, the hidden curriculum. Hidden curriculums are things children, peoples are learning, or children are learning without your knowledge. Most of the things you want to surprise as a teacher, organize a Saturday classes, and then you ask the children to dress in any attire they wish. And then you will discover that majority of your class will dress like you. Or if you see some kind of a, 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 a normal dressing that is you yourself, you don't usually put it. You check the parent, you check the child and you check the parent, you discover that the children will either dress like you or they will dress like their parents. And all these short skates, behaviors, you allow children to say, okay, we are going to do some certain things today. Maybe just some kind of a, 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 a normal things. You discover that most of them will be behaving that, like their parents or will be having like that, like you, the teacher. So it is something we have to. That anything, immediately you have a child, you have to apply discipline, abandon a lot of things, and compromise a lot of your characters. If you have been smoking and you have a child, you have to stop smoking. If you must continue in smoking, you have to do it. In the absence of that child, your child should never have a mind that you used to smoke. Drinking and getting drunk, your child should not have. As a teacher and as a parent, you don't have any hidden life. No private life for you. And because teachers believe that they have a private life, their lives in the quarter, the way they behave out of classroom, does not concern the people. That is what is killing. Because a child passing and seeing the teacher drinking and getting drunk, a child passing and seeing the parents smoking and then bangers and smoking cocaine, taking all those things, the child is there a copy. They don't ask you before learning it. And those are the things that are killing us. The government, I say the government of Cameroon has failed. And the educational system in Cameroon and in Africa is the worst educational system all over the world. They don't focus on the character of the child. That is why in Cameroon, a, a, a religious study is nothing. A citizenship, moral lesson, they are nothing. They don't take any serious name in it. And there is no serious curriculum in line with that. And the government of Cameroon has allowed education in the hands of businessmen. The schools are being created everywhere. And these are the things causing all this bad behavior. Our children were not born. It's stubborn, wicked, evil. No. The school's environment, many people are just creating school because they want money. They don't care about discipline. They don't care about moral lesson. They don't care about whatsoever. All what the people are focusing on is making money. And the society where we are. You might be living in an environment and you believe that you don't have a child. 
or you believe that children passing around that environment they are not all the things people are doing in the environment are affecting this the children the church what are we doing as a church which kind of children are we training are we growing the children that are worshiping in our churches every day in the fear of the Lord? Are we training them in a way that when they grow up, they will not depart from it? Or all we curse are the things. Because when you look at these children, you discover that most of them that are doing this terrible thing on Sunday, they will have moved into church. How are we the pastor? How are we the men and women of God building families? Because if the church can be the families strongly, the families, the church will be, they will have a better society. The environment. People are smoking banger all over. Those who are selling those drugs to the children are adults. Mature people, parents, they are the ones selling it just to make money. Just to make money. So we are calling on all Everybody to be responsible. We should stop blaming the children. But the teacher should be responsible. If you are in any class teaching, check your conscience. Which kind of training are you giving? Not only, teach, not only teaching mathematics, English, or general knowledge. Focus on moral standard. That a child will pass through your hands for one year or two years or three years. That child will never stand to become such. It should be your priority. As a parent, you have to adjust a lot of things. Don't allow your children in the hands of TVs, in the hands of nanny. But be the parent and guide your child to the right path. The government should abolish the kind of educational system that is existing and abolish and destroy many schools in Cameroon.